We're also privileged to have a student speaker to address us today. It's my pleasure to introduce uh, Timothy Gubitz. Timothy is uh, graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. During his college career at NC State, he has been actively involved in his community, both on campus and off. Tim served as a resident advisor for three years, was an NC State Science House summer counselor, a Chi Alpha Christian Fellowship leader, and belongs to Ada Kappa Nu, the International Honor Society for Electrical and Computer Engineering. He has been described as a measured young man who handles himself with a quiet poise and a wonderful respect for others. Tim spent two summers as an intern with Progress Energy and has taken a position with Progress Energy's Brunswick Nuclear Power Plant. Tim is looking to continue his education with a master's degree in obtaining his professional engineer registration. It's my pleasure to introduce Timothy Gubitz. I only got a B plus in public speaking, so excuse me if it's a little off. Anyway. Good morning, electrical and computer engineering, graduating class of 2010. And good morning, friends, family, faculty, and staff. On behalf of the graduating class of 2010, I would like to thank those who have helped us get to where we are today. And I would also like to challenge the graduating class of 2010. But first, I would like to read a short poem by Rudyard Kipling. It sums up life for us here at NC State, and it's actually quite famous to us. So I hope that you enjoy it. Now this is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. And the wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but the wolf that shall break it may die. As a creeper that girdles the tree trunk, the law runneth forward and back. The strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Honestly, I did not know that this poem existed until coming to NC State, into NC State, and I do not believe that I would have understood what Kipling meant by being a wolf or by being a part of a pack unless I had experienced life here. We as a class, our parents, guardians, friends, and family are part of a wolf pack. This pack has been with us throughout, <laughs> sorry, this is exciting for me. <laughs> this pack has been with us throughout our college careers, and it is this pack that I wish to address today. To begin, class of 2010, thank you. I pursued this opportunity today mainly to look you all in the eyes and express my appreciation for all of you. If it were not for you, I would not be the person that I am today. Honestly, I can say that I've met some of my best friends for life while being here. So. They say that you should give credit where credit is due. So class of 2010, I encourage you to look at your fellow graduating classmates. All of us have worked together on some, of, some type of project. All of us have asked for assistance whenever it was needed. And all of us have had our study groups. So class of 2010, take a moment and be thankful for your fellow graduating class. Class of 2010, you are the ones who encouraged me to work harder. Class of 2010, you are the ones who made me laugh so hard that sometimes I've cried, or not made me laugh and cried anyway. <laughs> Class of 2010, I thank you for taking a kid from a one stoplight town and turning him into a scholar and a responsible member of this community. Class of 2010, you are part of a pack. On behalf of the graduating class of 2010, I would also like to thank the support network that has helped our class through these times. You have cheered us on during our studies, and you are truly cheering today. You are our parents, guardians, friends, and family. If you have not been told this enough, thank you. You encouraged us to go to college and to seek higher degrees. You encouraged us to persevere in the tough times. We turned to you when the workload became too much to handle. Your couches became our beds during breaks. Your phone calls were missed because we were in class or we were in meetings. Your phone calls were also 
forgot to return. Actually, we forgot to return them a lot. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mama. We bailed on you because of our workload, but you remain faithful to us and understanding of our situations. We are here because of you. You are the ones who are celebrating this the most on this most joyous occasion. Parents, guardians, friends, and family, you are part of the pack. Last but not least, professors and staff of the ECU department, as well as the employees of NC State University, thank you for providing us with the educations that we now have. It was the humor and the spirit of the faculty and staff here at NC State that has made our educations brilliant, enjoyable, and challenging. Yes, our professors have been the bane of our existence at times, and they have been the thorn in our side that would not be removed. But I believe that, however, we can all now say that we are immensely grateful that you all have pushed us as hard as you have. You make me, you make NC State proud, and you make myself proud to now say that I am soon to be an alumnus of NC State University. If we're not for, our, for the professors that came to class and cared about the material they taught, as well as the pupils that sat under them, we would not have the quality of education that we now have. Class of 2010, do not leave campus today without saying thank you to the faculty and staff who have helped you to succeed. This is our day, but we would not be here if it were not for them. Finally, class of 2010, as we look at our futures and what they hold, we should realize that we are a privileged and fortunate part of society. However, we have a very serious weight that has been laid on our shoulders. We have been prepared for this challenge by this great university and by the people that surround us. We are a part of the Corps of Engineers that will help this country continue in its success. It is the innovation and gumption of engineers that have walked this, that have made this country great. And, out, and while looking out at all of you, I'm remembered, I'm reminded of those engineers who have walked this path before us. This is the standard that has been set. And this is this, and it must be maintained and improved upon. We must be reminded that two of the greatest problems that mankind has ever overcome has been because of electrical and computer engineers. Those two problems are the electrification of our country as well as the personal computer. Class of <clears throat> so this is the torch that we take today. And this is the torch that we take with pride. Class of 2010, as you continue on in life, may you not forget all of life's lessons that you have learned here. One of the most important being that the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Congratulations, graduating class of 2010. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And thank you for the wonderful past four years of my life.